When we apply the concept of dilation to the coordinate plane, at least for the purposes of this text, we're going to assume that all of our centers are at the origin, 0, 0, so that any time we have a given coordinate, we can dilate it by whatever our k factor is by multiplying both of the uh, x and y values on the coordinate by the k factor. So, in other words, if we have a point at, say, 2, 3, We'll just kind of randomly pick a few points here. Another one at uh, negative 3, 2. Another one at uh, negative 2, negative 4. That's enough. Negative 2, negative 4 can be our last one. And we'll call those points A, B, and C. A, B, and C. Let's say we need to dilate points A, B, and C by a K of 2. To dilate them means to multiply them by whatever that k factor is, make the adjustments to what the new points would be, and then label the new points. So if we start with point A, point A is 2, 3. So we need to take the 2, the x coordinate, and multiply it by our k factor, 2, which gives us a new x coordinate of 4. And then we take our y coordinate, which is 3, multiply it by our k factor, 2 and we get 6. So then we label our new point as A prime, and we'll make it with a different color so it's easy to see. A prime then is at 4, 6. So A prime would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right up here. And you can see that it's in exactly the same direction from the origin as A was, it's just twice as far out because our k factor was 2. So then we do the same thing with point B. Point B is negative 3, 2. Oops, go back to red because we're still in point B. There we go, negative 3, 2. So negative 3 times 2 gives us negative 6 for our new x-coordinate. And 2 times 2 gives us 4 for our new y-coordinate. So B prime would be negative 6, 4. And so again, off in exactly the same direction, we go out to 4 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep, right about there. B prime. And then finally for C. C is at negative 2, negative 4. So C prime. C prime will be at negative 4, negative 8. So it's down here somewhere. Same direction from zero, from the origin, just twice as far. Yeah? And if you were to connect our original points with a line, let's do these in blues. Take our original points and connect them with a line to get sort of a general idea of what the shape of those three points was, you'll see that the shape of the new three points is exactly the same, meaning that it's a similar figure, but its size is different, twice as big. And if we were to dilate this by a fraction, then the new one, if we were to say dilate our original figure by a fraction, say k is one half, then the new figure would fit right down in here, like so. Again, exactly the same shape, just a different size. So all these figures are similar because their, their angles are going to be the same at the, at the corners, but their size will be different.